Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to a very surprising FNAF news video because Fiznom just released a Steam page for FNAF Plus. We got a brand new wishlist trailer for the game, a bunch of brand new screenshots of some gameplay, the offices, some, of the, some brand new looks at the animatronics, a description for the game. It's incredible. We got a lot to go through in today's video. If you are excited, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time. If you cannot tell, I'm so unbelievably excited because we've been waiting for this for a very long time. I was not expecting this to be released at all today, but I'm still very, very excited. So let's take a look at the wish list trailer and then we can take a look at the Steam page itself. So this is the official Steam wish list trailer. It'll be linked down below if you want to go check it out for yourself. It's on the official FNAF Plus YouTube channel. Here we go. This was live on Fiznom stream. Oh, so here's a good look at Freddy. We got some shots that we've already seen from in previous trailers and teasers. Maybe some new ones too, I can't tell. The newspaper. We saw that, we've seen that. I've seen a bit of this trailer just because it was live and I was watching the stream, but I've not seen the full thing. <laughs> He's so creepy. Hey, Freddy. Terrifying red eyes, too. There's the office. Bit of gameplay with the with the cameras. Oh, Foxy! New- Oh, Chica, too. It all looks so good. He's laughing. He's giggling. Okay! Okay! Yes! Dude, they look so good! We don't get a release date. I think it just says wish list. That's a sick logo too, Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Yes, wishlist on Steam now. That is such a sick trailer. And I think that's it. First up, let's talk about this shot. This is absolutely insane. The detail is crazy. Look at Chica's mouth too. Hold on. Oh, that's so creepy. The details on Freddy's eyes, the detail on all of them looks so, so good. Bonnie's terrifying. Bonnie's terrifying. All right, let's go back. Let's take a look at some of the brand new gameplay clips we saw. So this is the office. We got some panning of the cameras. Uh, we do have all the different cameras we can see. So this is up pulling. This is us pulling up the monitor. We can see Foxy peeking out in Pirates Cove. We got our power down here. Looks like there's a sign. Sorry, Foxy's out of order. Today's showtime. We don't know if that's going to be a mechanic just yet. But, I mean, it's there. We can see that. We can also see Foxy peeking out of Pirate's Cove, looking absolutely terrifying. Then we get a look at Chica in the in the restroom camera. Oh my gosh, that looks so, so creepy. Uh, it's kind of mimicking the same pose that Chica would do in the original FNAF 1. That's awesome. I love that. Then we get a shot of... That's someone on the main stage. Looks like it could be Freddy, based on the arms. I'm not entirely sure. But, oh my gosh, does it just look all so, so good. Creepy laugh, Freddy starts moving, and then we get this awesome shot. I can't get over this shot. This is amazing. And I think that's everything new in the trailer itself. Most of these old clips, most of these clips I, I think are old. We've seen them before. Looking at the exit sign. Yeah, I think these are all pretty old. But now let's head out to the Steam page itself. As you can see, the release date is currently in development. That's interesting, actually, when I was looking at the Steam page earlier, that's an awesome shot. It did say August 8th, 2025 as a release date. I doubt, wow, these are all terrifying shots. I need to stop looking at these because I'm getting distracted. I do not think the release date is actually going to be in 2025. That seems like a long, long, long ways away. I doubt that's actually the case. If I had to guess, I think maybe we could see it out this October. An awesome Halloween release would be super cool. Anyways, here's the official header, FNAF Plus with Freddy and the new logo. An official fanverse made reimagining of a modern horror classic. Watch those cameras, make sure Freddy and friends can safely wander around at night, prevent any damage to company property, and most importantly, don't let anything inside of your office. Taking a look at the images now, looks like this is a good shot of the office. We've seen a bit of this office already, so we're not going to spend too, too much time on it. But we can see the Balloon Boy figure, a cupcake figure, a mask of the puppet, a Celebrate poster of the fan, some sort of intercom, maybe. Then we get this awesome shot, Freddy replicating the classic Freddy Fazbear pose that we saw all the way back in the first FNAF teaser with Bonnie and Chica also at him at his side. Looks like the cupcake is absolutely terrifying. Oh my goodness. Yeah, all these renders, the animatronics look so, so, so good. I can't get over it. 
This is a brand new teaser shot of Bonnie in the dining hall camera. I think we saw a bit of this in an early teaser video, but it looks like it's been polished up. It looks absolutely terrifying. We get a brand new helpy figure. So again, maybe another customizable item we can put in our office instead of a, let's go back, instead of a cupcake figure, maybe we can put on Helpy and other smaller characters. We are able to shut the door, as we can see right here. DD figure, nice, nice. Everyone on stage, interesting. Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, all on stage. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Bonnie peeking in through the window. That is terrifying. That is legitimately terrifying. Oh my god. That is so, so terrifying. You can also see, once again, we talked about this in a past video, but the time in the corner is also the time on the clock. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, this is so cool! They're replicating the, again, iconic image of all the gang on stage singing. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cute. I love that so much. That's an awesome screenshot. Okay, that is also awesome, but in different ways, that is terrifyingly awesome. Looks like we have Bonnie in the East Hall corner now, or not the corner, the actual hallway uh, on the East Hall. Bonnie in the office as we're pulling down the camera. That's going to be interesting. Also a Foxy figure. Once again, another figure that we can customize, put in our office. It's going to be interesting if Bonnie will kill us in this case, right? We're putting down our mask, or not our mask, our monitor, and Bonnie's already in the office. Are we going to instantly die? Maybe there's another mechanic that we can get him out of the office. I said mask instead of monitor, but I highly doubt we're actually going to have a mask. I don't know, maybe there's some, like, way we can short-circuit him with the electric room, and he'll be just like, oh, I guess there's no one in here. Let me leave. I don't know, that's going to be interesting, but that is terrifying. A good shot of Foxy in Pirate's Cove. That is so, so creepy. I cannot get over that. Oh my god, that's crazy. Freddy, in the corner, we've seen this in a previous teaser video. You can actually see it's 5 a.m. on a Thursday, and our power is very, very low at 8%. Looks like we're probably gonna die. Final screenshot is the outside of the pizzeria, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We saw this a bit in Breaking and Entering. Next up, we got a pretty long description. Looks like we got a nice gif right here of the player. Is that a Freddy figure? Hold on, scroll back. There's the light in action. That's creepy. Scrolling back. I think, is that a new figure? Yeah, it is. It's a little Freddy bobblehead. You can see the door being pulled down now. The camera. Awesome. FNAF Plus is a fan-made remake slash uh, reimagination of the Five Nights at Freddy's game by Scott Cawthon, officially licensed and published under the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. A brand new take on FNAF Plus, haha, <laughs> some more, featuring completely remade visuals, new character designs, remix survival mechanics, new camera animations, expanded secrets, and rare events, loads of bonus post-game content, and a new interpretation of the original story. A game built to surprise and scare both newcomers and veterans of the FNAF series alike. This the official description for the game now. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Spend your night with us walking as a security guard looking after the infamous pizza restaurant that brings kids and grown-ups grown alike their favorite foods and thrills at a discount price. During your shift, you get to walk up close and personal, but not too close, with our beloved animatronic uh, entertainers Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Just keep an eye out on those cameras. Make sure our robot friends can safely wander around at night, prevent any damage to company property, and most importantly, don't let anything inside your office. Trust us, it's a long story. So it looks like maybe they've had an incident before with a night guard. Are you ready to survive a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's? Featured a reimagined experience that's sure to scare and surprise both newcomers and veterans, revamped pre-rendered 2D visuals and character animations, Five Nights of Terror, an extra special six night, and many more post-game bonuses to complete, an expanded custom night mode, there we go, with in-depth night customization settings, adjustable AI, and unlockable add-ons. A brand new plus mode for thrill-seeking fans looking for a real challenge, unlockable prizes and trinkets for your office, there you go. A multitude of user settings, uh, GUI options, and an actual pause menu, finally. FNAF Plus is made by longtime fans of the series. The game does not aim to be a replacement of the original, but to accompany it as a new spin on a beloved classic. Set in an alter alternate universe that explores similar events and concepts presented in the original through a new horror-focused lens. This game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares, content warning, blood, fictional depictions of gore, uh, mutilation and other disturbing scenes. Terrifying. Two gigabytes of RAM and all this, you know, stuff that people would love to know about. So that is, I think, safe to say, 
uh, a brand new terrifying look at the upcoming official FNAF reimagining FNAF Plus made by Phil Morg, aka Fizdom, a part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. I cannot, cannot wait now. Seeing all these terrifying screenshots of the characters in the office and the cameras, even them on stage. Bonnie in the hallway, looking in through the window, looking in at the camera. These renders, they all look so good. Let's go back to this one, actually. Where was it? Oh, right here. It It's too, too good. But I think that's going to do it for this quick FNAF news video. I'm sorry, maybe it was thrown together a bit strangely. It's just because I wasn't really expecting to record today, and I'm very, very excited about this news. Everything looks so good about FNAF Plus. I cannot, cannot wait. Tell me, what do you think of all these new teasers, the trailers, brand new looks at the characters on stage, in the cameras, in the office, brand new renders of the characters? What do you think? What are you looking forward to most with FNAF Plus? And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.